like 6 in the morning. Today I am taking you along with me to show you what I typically eat in a day. This is in no way a video to tell you that you should try and eat like me or that I have a perfect diet. This is more, I guess, sharing how I have learnt to eat to listen to my body. I used to struggle with uh, disordered eating and a whole range of other mental health issues. <laughs> Listening to my body and eating intuitively used to be virtually impossible for me but I have learnt to do it over the years and I feel like I'm in a really good place now with my relationship with my body and my relationship with food. I'm starting off my morning, I always start off with water. I don't know about you but every single time I wake up in the morning I have like this spicy feeling in my mouth. I'm probably not drinking enough water before bed but I love to drink water first thing in the morning especially when it's icy. I love my water to be cold. I hate room temperature water. I don't have work today but I do have a makeup collaboration thing with a makeup artist in about an hour actually so i probably won't eat breakfast until after that anyways i need to do my skincare and my hair my gosh and just make myself not look like an alien that's just had the life sucked out of it i will see you when i make my first meal of the day start your computations it's currently 12 o'clock and I'm just about to have my first meal of the day. I think I finished this shoot at around 10 and then my partner and I went to do grocery shopping and I just haven't had the time to eat until now and I'm absolutely starving. While I'm waiting for my salmon to defrost and cook, I'm making myself an iced matcha. So I've got my matcha powder in here. I also put like a teaspoon of chai in here just to like sweeten a bit. But I don't have like the proper whisk and bowl that you meant to make matcha with yet. Um, I just haven't had the time to buy it and so I've been getting heaps of chunks in my matcha which is not nice. And I've discovered a temporary solution. So what I do is when I pour the matcha into like my milk and my ice, I pour it through my like coffee strainer thing so it catches like all of the clumps and it works really well at the moment. So I'm sorry to all my Japanese friends and followers. I know it's not the proper way to do things, but you've got to be innovative in times like this. Oh gosh. Why do these always smell bad? Anyway, so I'm going to finish making my matcha and then my salmon should be defrosted soon and I will make lunch, but this should like pull me through.
this is my lunch. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so hungry. Salads are probably one of my favorite meals in the whole world. I was sort of raised eating salad. My mom used to make us salad all the time. And so, gosh, there's a fly. Having a salad isn't a restrictive meal for me. I like to make sure that they are massive um, so that they fill me up and I make sure that they're loaded with like a lot of nutrients so I always make sure there's like a carb, a fat and a protein in my salad so I've got like salmon, I've got walnuts, I have olive oil, avocado, brown rice, cherry tomatoes, normal tomatoes, cucumber lettuce, balsamic vinegar and a bit of hummus to make it creamy. I'm going to enjoy this with my matcha and my water um, and I'm going to probably edit um, a podcast episode or sometimes I like to watch YouTube videos or TV shows or oh. so yummy we're about to go to the gym so we're having a pre-workout snack are you eating something here or are you yeah. So for my pre-workout snack, I'm having a tin of tuna because hashtag protein. There we go. This is the best flavor. I love anything that has vinegar in it. And then I'm also having a bunch of grapes and my favorite crackers in the entire world. These are, what are these? They're like tomato lavish crackers. And they're the best and I can never find them anywhere ever they don't sell them in any shops anymore so every time we find them at a shop we buy like two anyways we're gonna go and do a workout and I will probably see you again at dinner time okay bye have a great time okay, bye. okay so we just got back from the gym I've had a shower I'm feeling fresh and feeling good I just filled up my water bottle this is like one liter I try to have it filled at all times and aim to drink like three of them a day, but realistically I get on average about two. Anyway, I'm about to make dinner. I'm not overly hungry at the moment, but I know that I will be soon. But before I do that, I'm going to take my vitamins, so I thought I would show you what I take because I feel like it counts as something I eat. This is a probiotic and prebiotic powder by Aura. Right, organics. I haven't been taking this for a super long time. I don't know if it's making that much of a difference, but it tastes really good. So I take that and then I also take a B complex vitamin. This has everything that I need and it has no synthetic Bs, which is important for me because I have a thing called MTHFR. Um, a gene mutation, which means that synthetic B vitamins are toxic to my body, which is so fun. Um, I take iron because I'm iron deficient at the moment. Um, and then I take these hair and energy tablets. They have the zinc in it. I've got my vitamin C because it's important to boost your immune system at the moment um, with all the COVID going around at the moment. This is my dinner. <clears throat> the lighting's absolutely terrible in here. I have horrible lighting in this house. And I'm really excited to move to a place that's a little bit more pretty, a little bit more aesthetic because it's really hard to get nice looking shots in the house that I'm living in at the moment. But I pretty much made, um, I guess a stir fry. Um, and then I also added some leftover salad um, that I didn't eat for lunch today just for some extra micronutrients and stuff like that um, and also I don't want it to go to waste tempeh I've heard is really good for you it's very high in iron 
and stuff like that but every single time I've tried it I haven't liked it I haven't liked the taste or the texture um, and I saw this one it was on sale and I thought I'd give it another chance so this one's flavored better than the last one the flavor is good the texture is still a bit off I much prefer tofu but it's bearable I can eat it anyways I'm gonna eat this um, probably watch some Pretty Little Liars, maybe start editing this, and, um, yeah, I might have something after dinner, you'll find out. <laughs> So I'm currently editing this video. Um, I'm sitting here with Olaplex in my hair, the bathrobe on. I'm in a, the middle of the rainforest, as you can probably hear. And I realized I never filmed an outro, so that's what I'm here to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're interested in this kind of content, then make sure to subscribe. I would love you to join the family. I should hopefully have another video up next week. I hope you have a beautiful day, I hope you have a beautiful week, and I will see you next time.